Shalom family. So I'm going to touch on a Hebrew word for you today, which is encouraging for us that are high watching everything and waiting for that imminent upward call in Christ Jesus to join him in the air. And the Hebrew word we're looking at is malat. Malat means escape, deliverance and rescue, which is exactly how you can describe the harpazo slash rapture event that is imminently at the door. Malat is one of the Hebrew words among many that carry a wide array of translations. It's transcribed as escaped, delivered, saved, and rescued. The idea is when you escape, Malat, from a terrible predicament, you are rescued from it. This terrible predicament is the times we're living in and the seven-year tribulation that lies at the door. We are going to be rescued from it. To be delivered is to be rescued and saved from a bad situation. What could be worse than the tribulation period and the world as we know it right now? All four English words are connected and the Hebrew word malat draws them all together. Malat is a key concept of the Bible. God will save us. It's not surprising there are many other words in Hebrew that carry the concept such as palat, such as natsal, such as Yesha or Yasha, they all carry that same concept. In Genesis 19 verse 17b to 22, it says, Escape, Himalat is the word, for your life. Do not look behind you and do not stay anywhere in the surrounding area. Escape, Himalat, to the mountains or you will be swept away. But Lot said to them, Oh no, my lords. Now behold, your servant has found favor in your sight and you have magnified your compassion, which you have shown me by saving my life. But I cannot escape Himalat to the mountains for the disaster will overtake me and I will die. Now behold, this town is near enough to flee to and it is small. Please let me escape E Malta there. Is it not small so that my life may be saved? And he, the angel, said to him, Behold, I grant you this request also, not to overthrow the town of which you have spoken. Hurry, escape, he malat, there, for I cannot do anything until you arrive there. Therefore, the town was named Zoar. So, I cannot do anything until you're removed. It's the same thing with the tribulation. It cannot kick off and the chaos cannot truly ramp up until we are taken away to a safe place. Rescued, delivered, saved, escaped, secured in a place prepared for us. Another example is when Israel fell into the hands of Babylon, the great oppressor, Yahweh promised to wholeheartedly rescue them. Jeremiah 39 verse 18 says, For I will assuredly rescue you, rescue, rescue you, malat a malat ka, and you will not fall by the sword and you will have your own life as plunder because you have trusted in me, declares Yahweh. We trust in Yahweh. We trust in Yeshua. And because we trust in him, we know we have that blessed hope. We will escape. He will deliver us and our lives from what lies at the door. A time such as which no man has ever seen in the time of man, nor will there ever be again, because it will be so bad. And we, the redeemed, shall escape. Malat. The doubling in Jeremiah 39 verse 18 of the word malat a malat is used for dramatic emphasis. God wouldn't just rescue them. He would rescue, rescue them or super rescue them. I think it is such a cool revelation there. He's so trying to make them understand how he will rescue them. That he's doubling up this promise. I will rescue, rescue you. I will super rescue you. And I think that is very applicable 
to the whole rapture scenario as well. He's going to rapture, rapture us. He's going to harpazo, harpazo us, super snatch us out of this place. Daniel 12 verse 1 to 3 says, Now at that time, Michael, the great prince who stands guard over the sons of your people will arise. And there will be a time of distress such as never occurred since there was a nation until that time. And at that time, your people, everyone who is found written in the book will be rescued. Ye malat. And many of those who sleep in the dust of the ground will awake these to everlasting life, but the others to disgrace and everlasting contempt. And those who have insight will shine like the glow of the expanse of heaven. And those who lead the many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. We will be rescued, malat, before that terrible time of distress that hasn't occurred since there's been a nation until now, before that occurs, we will be rescued by God. Psalm 127 verse 7 to 8 says, Our souls have escaped, nimalta, like a bird from the trapper's snare. The snare is broken and we have escaped. And that is us. We will be rescued. We will escape the snare that our enemies have prepared for us. Our help is in the name of Yahweh who made heaven and earth. Yahweh, behold the hand, behold the nail. Yeshua, without which nothing was made that was made. Matthew 6 verse 13, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver, the Greek, raisai, us, from the evil one. He will deliver us. He will save us. He will rescue us. He will rescue, rescue us. He will super rescue us. And that is at the door. It is a promise from God who is faithful, who does not lie and who always keeps his word. Therefore, we can have blessed assurance in our blessed hope, which is at any time. So be encouraged and keep looking up. God bless you all. Shalom.